YouTube, I have to be quick. This is Deck 49. I know who killed Anna Graham. Her death occurred in the bottom of this lumber mill. I need to get outside right now and alert my colleagues and the authorities. No, 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 no. Being chased by the axe wielding killer. Run, York. Fucking run. This is part 12 of the Deadly Premonition Let's Play. And what we need to do is let's get the fuck out of there right now. Dodge. Axe throwing crazy man. And once again, the axe man has, has got his axe back in his hand immediately after throwing it. How does that work? I've got no idea. York, I need you to push that crate like Zack's life depended on it, brother. Get us out of here right now. Okay, run, run. Oh, we've been caught. Game over? Game over? Not quite. Have we have we got what? Oh, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Run, York. Get the hell out of here. Just having a little gander at the, the psycho killer view there. Don't observe the great push it. What's wrong with you, you crazy man? Alright, the killer's on the way. He's thrown his magic hacks once again. He's like fucking Gimli from, from Lord of the Rings. He's on our tail. Run, York. You can do this. We've traversed this maze at least twice in the last 20 minutes. We know the way out of here. We know what we need to do. We've found the location where Anna Graham was murdered. We've got all the clues that we need to get. And now we need to roll. We need to roll, brother. Balls deep. We need to be out. Oh, behind us. Behind us. Dude, don't turn around. Zach, don't. York, I'm not being a funny mate. Just, I wouldn't turn around. York, kick him in the fucking bollocks and let's get out of it. Do this. Super steam him. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Let him run into the fucking super hot steam. Let's do this. Look out. Come on, York. Run. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Keep tapping your left analog stick. Guy, you got good lungs, by the way. You're normally dying after about 20 seconds when I, when I run normally. And now you've been running for the last 20 minutes and you're completely fine. It's funny how this game plays out. Boomerang Axe! Boomerang Axe Australian. The killer's Australian. Evade. Combat rolled for the win. More steam emitted. He wasn't joking earlier when he said those things were uh, fragile. Right. Bad boy style. Dive! Oh! Yes! And we're back in Tentacle Town. Let's get our octopus out. Don't want to die. Too bad. You're about to get fucking shotgunned in the face. Or at least submachine guns. Gonna make jazz hands at you. Jazz hands. Connect reference for those who are not in the know. Jazz hands. That's how you shoot guns these days. Jazz hands. Okay, let's get upstairs. We've got some lecky. We've been attacked by the killer. We know what happened. I know who fucking killed Anna Graham. I know. I know who it was. Let's get out of here. Let's skadoodle. Hang on, why is the lift going down? That that can't be a good thing. Why is the lift going down, guys? I'm pretty sure the exit was up. Pretty sure. Like, I'm pretty sure the air exists on top of the ground as opposed to under it. I believe physicists have ever made a claim once or twice to that effect. Okay, in your own time, York. Oh, for fuck's sake. Does this dude never give up? I don't care if you're accompanied by amazingly dramatic music, which is played with a variety of different instruments. I don't want to get chopped in half by an axe. <laughs> Evade again. Press Y. Press Y, York. He's not having any of it. Oh, we're back to our bad shoulder. We're back to bad shoulder town. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Strafe. Strafe. Attack! 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 Okay. I'm pretty sure when I press the green button there, I want it to attack the enemy and not the fucking lift. Okay, so now the now the boomerang killer. That's what he is from now on. He's the fucking boomerang killer. 
No, the boomerang killer is gone upstairs in the lift, and I'm about 400 floors underground. And I've got a piece of his raincoat. In good news, I can now finish my profiling. Okay, so York is fucking teleported. Anya! Anya! No, not Anya? Is that is that not a thing? Oh, okay, maybe not. Oh, that's... Jeez. Crab jeez. Mm, I like raincoat killers. Hey, come over here. Take your raincoat off. See, as soon as she, as soon as fucking Anna Graham told him to take his raincoat off, he just went west. He's like, no, chop you in half, put you in the bath. Your body is no good to me. And once again, there's that tattoo on his back, the anti-peace sign. I don't know why fucking York doesn't just go around checking people's backs, yo. Like, would that not be like checking men's backs? Look at the size of his arms. That would be some fucked up woman like the only way i would accept that, that was a woman if it was some sort of hermaphrodite like he she beast like an it with two sets of genitalia and possibly no hearts that's all the you information like we that? need zach don't smile let's go back and show them what we found I, I find it really disturbing when york chooses to smile it's just like dude don't do that don't do that you look you look like the killer you're the fucking killer Let's have a look in your cupboard. Where's your raincoat? Have you got a raincoat, York? Yes, you, you know you fucking do. Guys, I've just been chased around this entire fucking warehouse, this entire lumber mill, by the raincoat killer. This is the first thing I need to communicate to you as police professionals. Have you seen any of these things before? No. Really? Not that I know of. Dude, do I just fucking tell him you just got chased but around the factory by a good with a It was a boomerang. Odd. In a town where it rains so much? Well, what? the people here rarely go out in the rain. I moved here during high school and I never really understood why. Okay. Can you shed some light on I'm this, I'm sensing an important plot no. point here. Well, I know there's story. an old story. Folklore. 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 It's a fairy tale. Yeah, to no, me. yeah, it's just a fairy tale. It's nothing. Something it's not, about it's no, a killer no great in a raincoat. Who just something on rainy about a killer. Just, just, yeah, just maybe a story a about a killer. killer in a bright red raincoat. A vicious killer. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, yeah, bright red raincoat. Just a fool was it? Was that, that, was that what, vicious? A rubbish story. Someone made up. Vicious. Uh, hang on. Yeah, vicious. Not many vicious people killer. Was that, was, that, was that the story? But I guess it's a traditional. And now no one goes out at night. And maybe I can remember the story. Still close up when it rains. School's out too. For the summer. And since there's no reason to go out, not many people ever wear raincoats. You're not selling this, dude. And now the raincoat killer has leapt out from his picture book. Oh, York is breaking out his vocabulary again. Oh, by the way, would you two kindly show me your backs? <laughs> yes! Backs? Is this related to the case? This is what exactly what I said. Person with the upside down back. peace mark show in that photo. Show me your fucking back. Found. He's our kid. He's the one. And what makes you so sure about that? Zach and I saw him kill Anna dude, in the lumber dude, mill. Dude, don't... He you just reference her. Zach in public. Right in there. You just reference oh, Zach. one thing. Please don't ask don't me. Don't ask me about Zach. Zach. It's just... That's a... But it's, it's private. private just chill, man. Zach is cool. Don't worry about anyway, that. Anyway, by showing me your back, Zach? we can clear up most of my concerns about dude, you. Dude... Uh, Isn't that for the best? Unless... If you want to remove yourselves from the suspect list... Emily it will make things a lot is easier. hiding this is biceps. Insane. Your methods are rude, insulting, like and out of the question. And Emily is a female officer. Asking Forcing her to, her to show her you her back is harassment. Just, it's just I don't for care shits and giggles. FBI or not. You are out of line. You're out of line. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, mm. She's taking her clothes off, regardless of what happens George, now. it's okay. Let's just show him and get it over with. Oh, she's Girl. gagging for it. Are you crazy? Look. We flash our backs flash, and flash your back, he'll start trusting us a little more. Give us a little back. Show right. us a little back. Come on, girl. Agent York. Come on, girl. He's getting ready for this. He wants to have a little fucking smoke while he observes a uh, fresh <sighs> young agent back. Okay. Um, I don't want to alarm anyone, but Emily appears to be emitting starlight Are you from out of her body. Now? Yes. My apologies. 
You love it out loud. Now you, George. Come on, George. Come yeah, on, George. Yeah, okay. Stop I stalling. Can't refuse it now, can I? Come on, George. But don't expect to get your way all the time. Agent, Agent Morgan. Morgan. Let's see what you got. You're gonna have a fucking mm. upside down peace sign on my name is not Decker York Morgan. <gasps> George. Okay. What are these scars? Someone's been using his Just back like as a fucking Mr. Zack. No. Something private. Yeah, something private. I don't have to tell you about it. No, you don't. Of course. Every Just time like you bought Zach. a hat, someone carved a fucking. We can understand that. Right into exactly. your back. Anyway, this will make things a lot easier from now cool. on. Cool. Now we're friends. I'm glad to say you're both pretty much off the hook. Good. Thank you for your cooperation. I love fucking Francis York Morgan. He's so if fucking is insane. Suspicious around here, it's him. It's him. He's the most he's suspicious. He's the most suspicious. No, I don't think so. But he certainly is the most. So if Emily's not a raincoat killer. Raincoat. We've studied the crime. I'm not suggesting yeah. babies are being killed here. I know what we have to do next. Zach. What do we George. Do next, Zach? George. Can we arrange to have the town get folk everyone, gather in get one place? Get everyone in a big room. There's some things I want to address. With I need. The town I need folk. to talk. I need to talk to the people. Very well. Back once again. I'll we'll arrange to have back. as many so as possible gather Power in the, the community people. center tomorrow. Okay. Thank you, center. George. Thank you, George. There should have been a comma after the thank you, but I'm not gonna hold it against them. Oh look, just wait. This is. He isn't he so exasperating? Isn't he ex an exasperating man? Ah, oh, Francis York Morgan. Oh, life. Welcome is back, beautiful. everyone. Uh, Welcome Thomas. back, Thomas. Oh, Thomas. Thomas. It's past twenty-one hundred. We're talking an army talk again. Let's meet up again at the community center tomorrow. Fifteen hundred. What about fifteen hundred? How does that sound? I'm exhausted. Go to bed then. I was just about to suggest the same thing. You were about to suggest that he goes to I'll bed. I'll make arrangements for people to gather between 1500 oh, and 1500. That's close. 1530. I'll try and get as many people as I can to come. Alright, I'll be so Don't be late. Okay? Don't be late. Don't be late, you I'll be there. Don't be late. The community center's on the south side. I've marked it on your map. Thank you, Thomas. Thanks, Thomas. Well then, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, George. Have more nightmares and unpleasant dreams, please. Alright, is there a strip club in fucking Greenvale? Let's 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 go and find some tea. Right, what are we doing now? Are we, just, are we just gonna fly back to the hotel? I think we should go and find some tea. Ugh. Okay, we are as per usual. Uh, woods, woods and water away from the place that we need to be and like, woods and water and and mud Zach, picking up from where we left off Zach, tell me okay, what, what film I've been thinking which about film? what movie i'd like to watch which one next? next and finally i've made a decision tell me about your decision York. it's always hard to narrow it down it's just always one hard movie. just one film it's it's been been thought into this. human centipede sure human centipede 1975 are, are we talking about Jaws again? How many times do you want to loop this particular bit of dialogue? Okay, I've chosen to uh, take shit to the dark side. I'm driving along the railway track here. There's got to be some Agent Honor. Is there got? Is there? What's the? What's the opposite of Agent Honor? Agent Pravity. The underwater camera. Leave your We'll get into that at some point. I've never been that scared by a movie before. The best thing about it is that it isn't just another panic movie. The mayor who won't close the beach even when there are so many victims. Chief Brody putting the citizens' lives to all out. The film gave a lot of time to the dispute and friction between them. It certainly had a lot of messages for a two-hour film. That's probably another reason why it was such a record-breaking movie. One of my regrets in life is that I didn't see it at the movie theater. I guess I was still just a child back then. But still. That terror in real time. That reminds me, Zach. Did you know this one? Jaws also appears in another movie that was produced by Spielberg. A second Back to the Future. It was directed by Robert Zemeckis, who later made Forrest Gump. That's also a masterpiece, of course, but we'll discuss that another time. So, the scene where Jaws appears is 
right after Marky McFly goes 30 years into the future. He passes by a movie theater and is attacked by a holographic shark. Marty is shocked, of course, but looking closer, he sees the words, Jaws Part 19. The director is credited as Steven Spielberg Jr. In reality, there were actually only four Jaws movies. It was still a great joke. 30 years from 1985 would be 2015. We'll be there pretty soon. I wonder what life would be like by then. Welcome back, YouTube. I thought I'd just give you a few minutes alone with uh, Zach and York there while he drove through the... I'm not even sure what that was. The uh, the Celestial Back Passage. Was that, was that what that do? Is that a thing? It is now. Okay, so I'm going to park in that illuminescent green circle. And uh, this is probably not the right time to be interviewing local villagers, to be honest. Let's see if the door's open. Let me in! Let me in! Zach, Emily Not by the hair come between of my FBI skin. We can't do anything here right, right now. What the fuck time is it now? It looks like it's midnight. Let's come back at the right time. Okay, so... What? What do we do now? We've got... <laughs> we've got like 15 hours to kill. Oh, like... How am I going to kill two hours? Uh, 15 hours? Alright, someone posted in another video that they're smoking. Uh, oh. Oh, so... The brand of cigarettes he has there, the the c celestial uh, celestial c clock pushers. I almost said celestial cock pushers there. That that's an entirely different section of this game. Um, I will show you that a little bit later. Unfortunately, it does feature Diane, freckly one from the hospital. But you know, you get what you're taking. You get what you're given. There wasn't. There's no way around that. Emily was busy. She said busy until hell freezes over. And by the look of the sky, I'm going to go and find Emily. What's going on? I'm going to smoke more of these magic celestial cigarettes, celestial cock pushers. I mean, uh, uh, since I made the Freudian slip, they have to be, they, they have to be celestial cock pushers from now on, don't they? They have to be. Okay. So I'm out of, uh, I'm out of Mortal Kombat zone. We're out, we're out of the Realm. Not planning to eat yet, Zach. Okay, I'm uh, I'm I'm surrounded by flies, so I probably need to have a wash at some point. Um, I've smoken enough time altering time altering. I've smoked enough time altering cigarettes to actually fucking attract flies from the Mortal Kombat realm to me. This is quite an impressive display of of you know uh, transdimensional prowess by Francis York Morgan. Every time I smoke some of these cock pushers, time slows a little bit more slowly, if that makes sense. I'm not I'm not stringing my sentences together amazingly well here, YouTube. This is unlike me. I'm known for my effable quote. We can take a rest of your time. Alright. I tell you what I'm gonna do. I am gonna go and have a sleep somewhere because the cigarettes have run out of steam, the celestial cock pushers have gone impotent. Celestial cock blockers now they are. Need to get some food. I've got this pension for like drive along the railway tracks. I don't know if I think this is Back to the Future 3, but um, well, you know, we have been talking about Back to the Future recently. Um, however, if I remember what happened in Back to the Future 3 correctly, there was a Zach, is there something here which run a DeLorean over. We need to be at the community center by 1500 today. I'm not sure I want that Just to happen. Just think of talking in front of all those people. Just think of talking, Zach. Just talking in front of all those people. We don't have to pull any, you know, any letters out of fingernails with those guys. Although it might be fun, you never know. My uh, aspiration of eating in the local R and R diner has just gone tits up. It appears they do not open for some time yet, so I'm about to die of starvation or die of a lack of sleep. Let's have a look. There's something which looks suspiciously. Like a pillow with Z's coming out of it here in this little shed here. And this is a local knocking shop. Do you know how many times Anna Graham patronized this particular shed with uh, how many different men? Do we, do we want to do that? How many different types of semen did she have in her? Laura Palmer, boys. Laura Palmer. Different kettle of fish altogether. All right. I'm going to have a little mm. kip. 
What time is it? It's 14.04. I'm going to be late. Not planning to eat yet, Zach. I've got some crackers, actually. Why don't I, uh... Why don't I just crack open a few crackers? Alright, on my way back to the community centre now. I'm still a little bit early, to be honest. Perhaps I can smoke some celestial cock blockers. Let's see, let's see. I mean, maybe they'll let me in. It's not too... Well, I wouldn't let him in just from the way he smells. Zach, Emily arranged for people to come between... Fucking wash yourself. We can't do anything here right now. Let's come back at the right time. Stinky agent. Stinky agent you are. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna smoke another cock blocker. Have I got any left? Yeah. Right, here we go. Celestial cock pushing for the win, and it's it's bang on three o'clock. Come on! I'm probably gonna die of starvation. Whoa! The entire car park is full of suspects. Get your gun out! Get your gun out! Just shoot them all! Shoot them all! Look, law of averages. If you kill every single person in this car park, the killer's gonna be dead. The killer is definitely going to be dead. Now, I'm going to come back to this moment at the end of these videos and tell you how many hours I could have saved by just executing. Yes! The GNV Community Center. That doesn't stand for Green Vial. That stands for Giant Vagina. Okay, maybe it stands for Green Vial. Cock tower, cock tower. I'm getting a bit of a, a bit of a phallus, a bit of a phallus uh, obsession. If he's not coming out of cock push, he's coming out of cock blockers, and he's coming out of giant, giant vaginas. York, what is Zach feeding you? 